The girl was very surprised when she heard what he said. She couldn't bear it and ran away crying. He sat there with a satisfied look, ignoring everyone. While running, the girl bumped into a woman who immediately turned around and said, I'm sorry, I apologize. The woman saw the girl crying in distress, so she felt sorry for her. As the girl sat down, the coach and friends around came to comfort her. Xiao Ki, don't put too much pressure on yourself. You have shown your extraordinary training skills, and you have defeated yourself. That's enough. Whether you win or lose, just be happy. Everyone around also comforted her. Hang in there. Xiao Ki, don't give up just because of one failure. We will support you forever. Upon hearing this, Xiao Ki seemed to become happier under the comfort of everyone. Thank you all. I will definitely work hard. The man also noticed the woman, none other than Kim Ju Hyun. He approached her and asked Kim Ju Hyun, Aren't you going back to your country? She panicked, quickly pulled her hat down over her face, and said, Do you recognize me? Clearly, I pretended very perfectly. He didn't care and asked, What are you doing here? Kim Ju Hyun told him, I couldn't sleep well last night, and I wanted to tell you this, so I came here. I was still very confused, but after seeing them, I decided to tell you this. Hearing this, he was a bit puzzled. What do you want to say? Kim Ju Gilan told him the truth. The reason Yu Ji Chuan won is because he used functional beverage to compete. This is the core secret of that team. Only a few people know this secret. She whispered, behind functional beverage is AI. Hearing this surprised him a lot, she continued. Because of this cheating device, the internal atmosphere became chaotic. Because you need to satisfy the coach, you may have the opportunity to compete and move forward. He turned pale, in panic, couldn't believe it, said, What you said, is it all true? Functional beverage is inserted into the buttocks, and they compete like that in the anus. It doesn't really hurt, does it? Kim Ju Hyun looked dejected, her eyes downcast, as she said to him, What if it doesn't hurt? We are a team with a winning streak, the national baseball team, always protecting the GO team and this pride. On the MC's announcement, Next is the award ceremony. Choi Young Huk, head coach of the national baseball team, is invited to the stage to receive the award on behalf of the national baseball team. As soon as the coach stepped up upon seeing him, he spoke up. This is not Mr. John. Thank you for sponsoring this competition. I will come up and receive the prize. The coach sneered at him. Unfortunately, even with money, your nation age team cannot win. In the end, your strength is limited, and after all, Go is a traditional cultural feature of our country since ancient times, while your nation H is just a bunch of imitators of us. Hearing this, he smiled and waited patiently, then he walked up and shrugged the coach's shoulder, stepping forward to grab the MC's mic. Because the national baseball team is very strong, I also want to demand from everyone, Choi Yong Hook, you are truly amazing. The crowd below kept raising dislikes, anti towards him. Who do you think you are, daring to challenge us? Clearly, you are not an official player and not qualified to compete with the world champion team. This match ended a long time ago. Why does the organizer not care about that? Does Nation H have any regulations? He mocked everyone. Oh no, is the world's number one coach afraid of me? This game has ended. Now I will directly start the next game. Immediately, he swiped his card. You had spent one billion yuan. He raised a black card high. This is the World Go Championship that I organized for Miss Jin, called the Jin Ju Cup. The champion can receive a prize of 1 billion yuan. And as for the coach, I am the only player here. You have the courage to let your championship team participate? A new tournament opened, surprising the media. Damn it, an outstanding player to appear in the game of Go, challenging the world champion right on the spot. If Nation H's baseball team just won the championship and does not participate, will the bet change to Nation H? The game of Go is creating a wave again. The reporter raised the microphone and asked, Sir, have you ever thought that this money will be directly taken by the baseball team? What is the purpose of organizing this competition? He happily announced, My purpose is very simple. That is to expose the truth about the baseball team using functional beverage to cheat. They are so arrogant, thinking they are invincible. If they use functional beverage, today I will let the national baseball team know that even if they use dirty tricks like functional beverage, I will easily win against them. Upon hearing this, the people in the stands were excited. Functional beverage. The national chess team uses functional beverage to cheat. If the chess team dares not to accept the challenge, aren't they cheating? Kim Ju Gim told him, 
Kim Tae-yung, don't be arrogant. Functional beverage supports AI. The coach frowned, looking at Kim Joo-hyun. Surely this troublemaker has revealed the secret. Do you think you can defeat me? If you bring a wealthy man to compete, the national team is invincible. When I return to Nation K, I want you to live worse than death. Both engaged in a deep conversation. The coach mocked him, saying, Ha ha, sir, I admit you are very wealthy. But in the game of Go, it's not just about money. I can refuse your clumsy challenge, but it is related to the reputation of my country. If you want to deceive yourself, I will help you. However, if you lose, you must kneel and apologize to our national Go team in front of the whole world. I also have to admit that the Go skills of my country are the best in the world. He laughed mockingly. If you can defeat me, I will do anything. But if you lose, do the same thing you just said. He and the other person started the game. Come on, let's start the game now. Kim Joo Hyun, watching from behind, with a worried look at Kim Tae Young, cheerfully said, Don't worry, I have had Go skills for a long time, but I have never used them. This time, let your country expand its horizons. The MC shouted loudly, The Golden Pearl Trophy competition has officially begun. The arrogant one put his flag down, saying to him, You don't even know how to make a single move, and you still want to defeat me. Beg for mercy now and I can make this competition of yours less ugly. But he didn't care, mocking back. No matter how shameless you are in stealing our nation age culture, in the end, you're just imitating a paper tiger. I can't understand its essence. The game of Go is a game of siege and destruction. In a small space, competition is not only about skills, but also psychology. You never know who the winner is until the last moment. The arrogant one looked down on him, pretending to be mysterious. He scoffed too proud too soon, only making your defeat more shameful. Hearing this, the other one got angry. When you kneel down and beg for mercy, let's see if your mouth can still be so firm. The chessboard was set aside by both sides, and he became worried. Can he really see through my intentions and cut off my king's move? How can I invade his territory again? At this moment, he stood up and placed a chess piece down. Another one in the middle, capture and recapture, but don't back down. His eyes sparkled with a ray of light, as if seeing through the world. AI, do you have what it takes to go down this dead end that I have set for you? This name could not have imagined. He was so formidable. He really could take advantage of AI's encirclement and trap himself in the net. He can also fix the holes on the chessboard and try to kill himself in a fall. Those controlling AI looked at the chessboard, unable to believe. His thinking speed, faster than our eye. What kind of monster is this? Every move is precise. How does he do that? The coach's face darkened, unable to believe. Unexpectedly, our man is completely on the defensive. This man can really defeat I. Who is he? This name shivered and whispered to himself. I can't lose, I must win. Suddenly, a warning sounded in the data room. Data overload warning. Cannot bear it. Stop the game immediately. At this point, there was a malfunction in the anus of this guy, causing him so much pain that he was trembling and thinking. It hurts so much, I can't bear it anymore. The referee then declared, you have lost. After losing the match, the guy's face contorted in fear and pain. Immediately, the object stuck in his anus came out, piercing through two layers of pants gently. Finally, because of the excruciating pain, the guy lay motionless on the ground, begging the coach for help. Coach, please save me. The spectators below witnessed this scene, unable to hold back their nausea. The baseball team, they really cheated. Oh my God, I'm about to vomit last night's dinner. This is so disgusting. There's so much fluid coming out. Coach CNF tried to justify, no, we didn't cheat. It's all a plot by Nation H. And we are falsely accused. The people below were adamant and refused to listen to what he said. Coach Choi, the anus beads are coming out of your players' bodies. Are you still trying to make excuses? You are treating viewers around the world as fools. At this point, he turned to him blaming him. The anise seed is not ours. It was the person from Nation H who forced it, stuffed the anise seed into our players, set a trap to trap the Nation H baseball team. This person wants the world to think that the people of Nation H are very good at playing chess. This is his conspiracy. He is lying on the ground is also their accomplice. Yesterday, I discovered that she wanted to trap the members of the team and was kicked out of the Nation K baseball team. The reporters present can testify for us. Unexpectedly today, she and an outsider came up with such despicable tactics. 
the players of the national baseball team are truly unjustly accused. Jin couldn't take it anymore and glared. Shameful. She threw her mask and hat out, then stood in front of all the reporters, boldly speaking out loud. I am Kim Joo Hyun, former national baseball player. I have had enough and I want to tell the truth. I have been sexually harassed by Coach Choi for many years. Yesterday, he tried to rape me and kick me out of the national baseball team. Cheating is also common for the national team. In the past, the national team has relied on cheating, using Anna seeds to win championships. What I want is a clean game, not this kind of deception and dirty business. Our national baseball team must be a united and fair team, instead of being tainted by scum, like Choi Yong Hyuk. I want to fight for more rights and respect for myself, as well as for all female athletes who have been treated unfairly. At the same time, I also hope that chess games in the future can truly return to their original nature, a competition of intelligence and skills. The people below were surprised to hear Kim Joo Hyun's words. Kim Joo Hyun continued, The cruel behavior of Coach Choi will never deceive anyone again. You don't need to fear him anymore, I testify. On the contrary, if you still protect him now, the only result is to destroy your own future with him. Speak up and let everyone know the truth, and make Coach Choi receive the appropriate punishment. Immediately, a girl below spoke up, I testify. And then the other girls behind her also spoke up one by one, I also testify. I have been harassed and threatened by Coach Choi for a long time. We didn't want to use the Anna seed, but Coach Choi said that if we didn't obey, he would find a hundred ways to make our lives difficult. Immediately, the coach was criticized by everyone in the stands. Damn it, the biggest fraud of the year. I said how could Bango Bangsy win? Turns out he is a scammer and scum. Stealing water is stealing water. He not only steals someone's championship, but also steals someone's innocence, killing them. At this moment, several Anna's control agents were also caught. Based on the signals emitted by the Anal Bead, we found the members of the AI Anal Bead development group behind. They pointed out that it was Choi Yong Kyuk who brought them there and asked them to use AI to ensure that the Nation K baseball team won the championship in today's match. The coach was surprised, and then MC spoke up. I just received a message from the International Go organization. The national team of Nation K has violated the rules by using NS beads. Cheating behavior is correct and has a negative impact internationally. All results of all Go matches that the national team participated in are invalid and have been blacklisted by the International Go Association, and all players in the country are permanently banned. Upon hearing this information, everyone cried and begged. No, we were wrong. We really know we were wrong. Please, give me a chance. I know I was wrong, and I am willing to accept the punishment. I cannot lose my career. I cannot let the baseball team lose its reputation. I will be killed if I go back like this. The people below cheered. Evil will be punished. That is truly satisfying. The coach at this moment remembered him, quickly knelt at his feet and begged. John, please give me a chance. Can I return the championship to you? Please, the Vey Nation H team is the best in the world. I was wrong, I was wrong. But he was not a soft-hearted person. He kicked the coach in the face, cursing. Filthy scum. Several days have passed. He is now in Park Shin Hai's apartment. A voice rang out. I clearly invited you to dinner, but I still need your help. I'm sorry for making you wait. At lunchtime, he held up a cucumber and asked, Auntie, should I slice this thinly or thinly? Park Shin Hai's mother turned back and instructed, Cut it into pieces and make a salad. Park Shin Hai's mother spoke up. Kim Tae Young, you can really call me by name. My name is Bai Wen. While Bai Wen was speaking, she looked at him shyly. After finishing cutting the cucumber, he brought it to her. Bai Wen, it's been cut. Where is the soy sauce? Bai Wen turned away in embarrassment. Let me get it for you. Planning to pour soy sauce on the cucumber, she accidentally spilled the soy sauce from the bottle. Bai Wen quickly grabbed the towel to wipe it for him, blaming herself. Why am I so clumsy? He reassured her. It's okay. At this moment, Bai Wen realized her actions were inappropriate, so she stopped and then ran away in embarrassment, bringing clothes for him to change. I'll go find clothes for you to change. Bai Wen took out a set of clothes and handed it to him. Try it on and see if it fits. He accepted it, saying, Thank you. It's really a new brand. Bai Wen said, I can't let you wear Park Shin Hai's old clothes. Without hesitation, 
he took off his clothes in front of Bai Wen, making her mesmerized, thinking to herself, he has a beautiful body. After getting dressed, he looked extremely handsome, saying, all right, Bai Wen, let's continue cooking. Park Shin Hai's mother came over to adjust his clothes and praised him. You look very handsome in this suit, much better than Park Shin Hai's father. At that moment, the atmosphere between the two became tense. They gazed at each other with flushed faces, lost in each other's eyes, when a loud knock on the door interrupted them. The door opened, revealing a man and a woman, both covered in wounds. The girl urgently said, Auntie, hurry, go find Kim Taehyung, Auntie. Park Shin Hai, she told us to find him. Something has happened to her. Both of them were surprised. What? A few hours ago, this group of people were speeding down the road, being chased by the police. As they left, they taunted the police. You want to catch us? Dream on. You won't be able to catch us. Not even in 50 years. The girl at the front laughed out loud. Ha ha. While running, she saw an alley ahead, so she left everyone behind, saying, There's an alley ahead, no street lights, so we should immediately speed up and run into it. Everyone followed her, saying, Yes, boss. As they ran in, they found that the police car had blocked the road in front of them. The people behind them cheered happily. This trick really works. Boss looks so handsome. I really admire the boss. Hearing this, the girl felt proud and arrogant. But suddenly, a voice echoed in the alley. In the men's dormitory, there are many people like that. Are you sure you can find Kim Taehyung there? She was shocked to hear someone mention him. And when she went closer, she saw two guys sneaking in. She said, Let's go directly through the gate and ask everyone. The other guy immediately shouted, We are looking for that guy. We will kidnap him. Everything will end if someone sees our faces. The frightened name said, I'm just afraid of mistaking people. There's nothing to be mistaken about. That person is a criminal with a proud personality. Suddenly, she appeared behind those two. With a gloomy face and a sinister smile, she spoke in a chilling voice, Two handsome boys, why are you looking for Kim Taehyung? As the two were doing something shady, they were caught and immediately, one of them was taken by her gang members, sitting in front of a motorcycle to prepare for execution. The guy turned pale, crying and begging for mercy. Please spare me. I will tell you anything you want to know. I have explained everything clearly. Please spare me. But she said nothing, just licking a lollipop in her hand, watching them being threatened. She spoke, you are members of that organization in Jangan City. Your leader is planning to kidnap Kim Taehyung. Tonight, you two came here to check on the victim. So why does that guy want to kidnap Kim Taehyung? The other person hesitantly explained. I don't know. The leader ordered us to do it. He didn't tell us anything else. Hearing that, she said, Okay, I will trust him. As soon as she finished speaking, her gang immediately attacked him. At this point, the girl behind her asked, Boss, so what should we do next? She happily replied, The price to pay. Who dares to kidnap my Kim Young? That person is asking for death. Let's take advantage of the night to turn the tables. Capture the leader of the kidnapping. By the way, I asked him friendly, what his purpose is. After hearing the whole story and understanding the situation, her mother couldn't help but tremble and stutter. Child, is she really crazy? Going to the cult's base, you should have called the police from the beginning. At this point, both of them were helped onto the seats. The girl continued. No aunt, the boss fights very fiercely. With just a baseball bat, she has killed some believers by herself. Besides, of course, our issue must be resolved according to the rules of the cults, and there is no need to ask for advice. That name also confirms. Yes. He frowned irritably and said, Guys, keep talking about how she was caught. The girl, hearing him speak, angrily exclaimed, Who are you? Her mother immediately explained, No, they are looking for Kim Young. He is. Both of them now recognized him. But in their thoughts, he was a cruel and brutal thug. Oh, the boss always told us that her boyfriend Kim Taehyung is handsome, wealthy, powerful, and even knows acupuncture. Isn't he supposed to look like a star? How can he be so simple and unremarkable? Hearing the description of the two, he also felt helpless. Is this how she sees me? At this point, both returned to the main issue. No more care. In short, the five of us should have killed those guys and made them cry for their parents. But in reality, they took it out. The boss tried his best to help us escape. But unfortunately, some of us were caught again by them. 
So what should we do now? The man next to her also spoke up. I heard about the Shuang Cheng Association. They bring positive energy during the day and recruit followers. They claim they can teach spiritual yoga to everyone and cure infertility. I didn't expect it to be so scary. He said, Sister, first let me teach you some self-defense techniques. Then put on your best outfit and follow me to see that cult. Upon hearing this, the girl's mother became determined and said, All right. He told the other two, Continue telling me all the information you know. At the Shuangcheng Villa at noon, inside the cult, everyone was meditating when the leader said, the universe is filled with bright energy. As long as we collect light energy regularly, we can heal many diseases without going to the doctor. At that moment, a disciple ran in and announced, Leader, a big client has arrived. He came in a Rolls Royce. Hearing that, the leader calmly said, Please invite them in. Immediately, the man and his mother appeared hand in hand with the girl, both wearing extremely elegant and luxurious outfits, exuding the richness and scent of money from both of them. The leader observed the two. The disciple introduced. The leader said to the two, This is the leader of our church. The leader immediately bowed to both of them and said, Is there any difficulty that you cannot solve? At this point, both of them also bowed. The girl's mother spoke up. Master, please help us. She looked extremely pitiful. I heard that you, the leader of this church, can use the energy of light to heal any illness. I really don't know if you can help us. The leader heard this calmly, with a mysterious look. At this point, another disciple below spoke up. Madam, you have come to the right place. I was declared infertile by doctors due to an accident. But the leader healed me, with his determination, with God's permission, allowing me to have my own child, and turning me into a new creature. The leader at the front heard this and smiled. My contribution is only half. The other half is the strength of her belief. Only when these two forces come together can miracles be achieved. After hearing these words, he thought to himself, He is indeed a cunning person, very good at manipulating others. We can use our toes to figure out what method he used to deceive her. He then rushed forward and grabbed the leader's shoulders. Dear leader, my wife promises to follow through seriously. Please use your extraordinary power to help us. No matter how much money it takes, I can provide it to you. The leader immediately replied, Trust me, I will do my best to help both of you. But are you two really a match in age? He shouted. What do you mean? My wife is not older than me at all. Do you object to something? At this moment, she stepped forward, kissed him on the lips to show her affection. You cannot be angry. You cannot be angry in front of a leader. Only extraordinary power can heal me. At this moment, he placed his hand on her shoulder. It's okay. This made the leader with a flicker of impure thoughts in his mind. She then turned back to apologize to the leader. I'm sorry, my husband is very sensitive about age issues. He came to my family as a son-in-law. Upon hearing this, the leader arrogantly said, Ah, that's it, there's no problem. But to ensure my devotion, you both must pay a fee of 3 million yuan to receive the energy. So she had to come here two days a week in a month. And of course, after that period, her illness would be cured. I wonder if she can accept it. Upon hearing this, he quickly took out his card. Money is not a problem. It just takes a long time. If I give 50 million yuan, can you shorten the treatment time, leader? The leader pretended to be a saint. Money is not the main thing, but I can. I have seen the power of faith. In that case, let your wife stay here for a week. I promise to cure her within a week. Hearing that, he immediately agreed. And then the leader invited her to go. Madam, please go this way. He was also directed to another path. Sir, you come here and donate energy fees. It's already noon. Why don't we stay for a quick meal? Then I will take you on a tour before leaving. Hearing this, he seemed very pleased. Good. The leader was extremely happy. Hey, hey, another big fish has been caught in the net. Not only did I receive money from that guy, but I also get to play with his beautiful wife. This is wonderful. The cunning old man blindfolded her, then took off his shirt, preparing to do something indecent with her. He said, Madam, I will transfer cosmic energy to you right now. You may have some doubts and misunderstandings about all the next steps, but do not ask any questions. Trust me with all your heart, understand. Hearing this, she could only cooperate with the old man. I understand. The old man approached her even closer, with a hungry look in his eyes. Now I will touch your shoulder. Don't be afraid. At that moment, she reached out and touched the old man's face, making him pleased to see her taking the initiative like that. 
Oh, being proactive like this is good. Seizing the opportunity, she quickly pressed on the pressure point behind the old man's ear, causing him to become dizzy with froth at the mouth in an ugly way. Then she removed the cloth covering her eyes, only to find that the old man had passed out, which surprised her greatly. It really worked. Before setting out, she had been guided by him on some self-defense techniques, and seeing her make someone unconscious for the first time, he praised her without hesitation. You did great, you learned it in just a few minutes. She was also very excited to see herself being able to do the impossible. Oh, it's amazing. Pressing on this pressure point can really make someone faint. It's just that this point is behind the bone, so the other person has to be silent. That's why I pressed it accurately. After making the old man unconscious, she tied him up and then went to search for her missing daughter. She was happy when she had completed the task assigned to her, which made her think, I did my role well and deceived the leader. After dealing with him, I have to go to the surveillance room and find out where my daughter is. Upon entering the surveillance room, she couldn't help but exclaim, Indeed, Kim Taehyung is amazing. He guessed that the leader of this sect would not trust any believers, so besides the basic security surveillance room, there must be a larger, more secretive central surveillance room with more authority. As she thought, she looked very surprised, unable to believe that outside, someone was leading a believer to make a donation. Just then, the phone rang, and she quickly answered, Hello, Boss Lai, how are you? On the other end of the line, she updated him on the plan's progress. Kim Taehyung, the plan is going smoothly. I found our daughter in the surveillance room. She is in the wine cellar on the west side of the villa. She observed the screen and informed him. She is being tortured, but there are many people there. Why don't we call the police quickly? He immediately responded to her question. The fastest time for the police to arrive here is 15 minutes. It's already too late. I will go rescue the hostage first. By the way, please call the police quickly and record all of this. It's all evidence. He quickly knocked out the believers, then ran quickly to the West Wine Cellar to rescue the hostage. He asked about the situation of the hostages through her. How many people are in the wine cellar? What weapons do they have? She hesitantly replied, There are 18 people. The image is too blurry, and I can't see what they are carrying. I can't even see their faces. Inside the wine cellar, the girl's accomplices were being tortured by the believers. Tell us, do you know Kim Taehyung? Another believer was punching the girl's stomach hard, in a brutal way to interrogate. She still hasn't said anything. The girl was beaten to the point of exhaustion, but still defiantly challenged them. What? Haven't had enough yet, bullying my little sister, who you think you are? The believer was enraged by her words. He just sneered at the girl and challenged. Damn it, whether you talk or not, I will knock out your teeth. The girl did not care about what he was doing, but calmly said, By the way, I have two wisdom teeth. Please help me pull them out. At that moment, a man in martial arts attire kicked the believer's head hard, cursing. Damn it, useless thing. He approached the girl challengingly, with a fierce face. Do you want to die? Facing danger, but she still refused to submit. I don't understand dog language. Speak human language. Hearing that, he smirked and said, Oh, if you want to die, I won't let you die so easily. My friends and I will play all kinds of games with you, and then slowly kill you. Immediately. Another man approached with a wicked look. Of course, your followers will not be idle. We will all play together, after all. We are not afraid of anything. Thinking that he had scared her, he continued to interrogate her. Tell me, what is Kim Taehyung's mysterious background? Why can a normal university student have so much money? At this moment, her younger brother was being tortured brutally, unable to bear it anymore. He begged her to speak up. Boss, please tell them, I can't take it anymore. This is not worth you doing this damn. Hearing these words from her younger brother made her very angry. She shouted loudly, You are stupid, a loser. I have misjudged you. She smiled and asked the other person, Do you want to play a game? If I reveal anything about Kim Taehyung, I will call him father. In return, he will be my grandson. Upon hearing this, the person immediately agreed, his hand restlessly pulling her shirt with a cunning face. All right, I will start from where I left off. Suddenly, the door swung open, causing the two believers guarding the door to fly away. They immediately turned to look at the door. A man entered arrogantly, playing with some stones in his hand, saying, How lively, there's still a party in this organization. Can you guys take me to play with you? As soon as she saw him, she couldn't hold back her tears, but happily called out his name. 
Kim Tae-hyung. At this moment, she noticed that there were many martial arts practitioners around, some even the black belts, quickly warning him. You need to run. Run fast, it's dangerous here. At that moment, an old man appeared. Why dare to come to my doorstep? It turns out that this old man was the leader who had been unconscious earlier, but for some reason he was still standing there. With a respectful tone, he said to all the believers, Thank you for coming here, Adai. You have saved me a lot of effort. He was very surprised to see the old man still intact, standing in front of him. Didn't you already? The old man looked up at him, then smiled a sinister smile, and with a mysterious air, he said, I am the spokesperson of the Holy Spirit of the universe. I am the embodiment of universal energy. I can appear anywhere, and I can know anything. O oh, people of Earth, what you use to resist me? While the old man's face turned gloomy, he straight away threw a stone at his head, causing him to fall. The believers nearby became anxious and worried. He didn't care much and scolded the old man. What's wrong? You're just a filthy old man. He honestly said, I was really scared by you just now. Not more than two seconds, but twin leaders mean twin leaders. The believers rushed towards him, shouting, If you dare to harm the leader, die. With just a kick, he made them all fall. At this moment, two believers held weapons and shot at him. The girl screamed in fear, Kim Taehyung. But he gently caught the two arrows. His handsome appearance immediately made her fall. One of them ordered the believers, control the hostage. Immediately, two believers ran to threaten him by holding a knife to the girl's neck. He didn't care, nor was he afraid of their threats, which could harm the girl's life. He quickly and decisively threw a series of stones at the believers, without hesitation. They were hit hard by those stones. In pain, they dropped all their weapons, screaming nonstop. At this moment, he looked at the remaining believers, frozen in fear, and gave them a chance. If you don't want to fight, then I will give you a chance. Leave this holy alliance right now, and never come back. Those who stubbornly stay here, I will warmly welcome them. As he spoke, he looked at them with a threatening gaze. After witnessing his power and threats, they immediately ran away to save their lives. In that underground bunker, only two martial artists remained. He teased. Oh, you two aren't leaving, are you? The two martial artists cheerfully responded. Interesting. Finally met a master from Nation H. I have been to some boxing gyms of Nation H. But no one dared to challenge me. One kick to kill. One kick to block the way. No matter which direction you run, you will be kicked hard. Just as he spoke, the two of them launched attacks towards him. But he easily dodged one and took down the other. He knocked the guy down without mercy, smashing the tiled floor beneath him. The remaining guy saw his comrade being defeated in an instant, then rushed towards him calling out his name. Damn it. He quickly kicked towards him, but he effortlessly dodged it. The guy then smirked confidently, thinking he could handle it. But to his surprise, a single punch from him sent him flying into the wall. At this point, he began to look down on them. Your kicking technique may open doors and widen butts, but if you use it to touch her, you'll be dead for sure. He then went to untie her. As she was being untied, she exclaimed, Thank you for coming to rescue me. You are really handsome. Hearing her say that, he was very surprised. At this moment, her face looked at him with innocence and beauty. He touched her forehead, feeling guilty. I'm sorry. I made you suffer and endure. She blushed when she heard him say that, then jumped on him and placed her lips on his, giving him a passionate kiss. She boldly slipped her hands into his pants, but he quickly stopped her, saying, Hey, hey, stop that. The system displayed. Your liking level increased by 8%. Her three younger brothers, witnessing this scene, blushed with embarrassment. At that moment, he timely pressed a pressure point on her hand, causing her hand to go numb and release him. She cried out in pain, and he advised, Go and tie your friends, it's time to go. The police will arrive soon. She became clingy to him, constantly asking, Kim Taehyung, is my kissing skill good? This is my first kiss. He didn't reply but thought to himself, Why are there so many perverted girls like this? Boys really need to protect themselves when going out. His phone rang. It was from Aunt Ba Wen. On the other end, Aunt Ba Wen was watching over the old man who was so scared that he peed his pants. Aunt Ba Wen said, Kim Tae Young, if the leader wakes up in the middle of the night, press the sleep button a few more times. As a result, he started having seizures and couldn't control himself. He was a bit surprised to hear this. 
on bad when explained. The problem is not there. This guy started saying nonsense. While twitching as if speaking in a dream, he said things like, On don't worry, I will definitely catch Kim Taehyung. He asked in surprise, Who is Mr. On? At the twin villa party, both mother and daughter embraced each other reunited. Daughter. Mother. On Ba Wen cared about her daughter. She said things like, Does it hurt? Why are you so silly? She immediately retorted to her mother, I'm fine, just indifferent, if they didn't have weapons. At this point, Aunt Ba Wen turned to ask him, Kim Taehyung, tell me, what happened to the girl? At this point, he was only concerned about the old man lying on the ground. He wondered, Aunt Ba Wen, where is this guy's computer? Aunt Ba Wen immediately replied, inside the control room. At this point, she became curious and asked Aunt Ba Wen, Mom, are you and Kim Taehyung close? Why did he call you by name? Aunt Ba Wen was at a loss when her daughter asked, What is this? What is this? After a while, she went to ask him, Kim Taehyung, have you found what you are looking for yet? At this point, his face turned dark. She slowly inquired, What are you looking at? On the screen was a chat message. Give me Kim Taehyung. I want to turn him into a living pig. He quickly replied, Don't worry, Mr. On. I will make sure of it. The other person asked, Why is the growth of believers so slow? The old man immediately answered, I have tightened my grip, but the people from Nation H are not easily fooled like our Nation K. The other person was annoyed. I brought you here from Nation K to help me make money, not to be a secretary like Hoina. Li Sang Yi's assistant is more useful than you. She was very surprised by the chat, and it continued, You have arranged such a big scene for that girl, she should feel honored. The other person laughed loudly. Ha ha. The auction meeting tomorrow is a trap designed for her. The toy I like can never escape. I want to play all kinds of games with her and make her numb. Then sell her to Nation D. She hesitated. Kim Taehyung, is this really it? He read the chat message with great interest. Interesting. Sending a cult to catch me and the secretary next to Lee Sang Yi is his business spy. He grabbed his laptop and left, instructing the two. Both of you, stay here and wait for the police, I have to go first. She asked worriedly, where are you going? He quickly replied, the auction meeting, as mentioned in the chat history, is tomorrow, I have a lot to prepare, so I have to hurry. The next day, at the Anjang City Film and Television Base, a girl came to knock on the door. Mr. She, it's time to leave, or you won't make it to the auction meeting. The girl smiled knowingly, everything is ready, Li Sang Yi. Don't blame me, Mr. Zhou has given me so many benefits. Sang Yi was changing clothes inside the room, answering, I'm almost done. Sang Yi was happy inside. As long as I finish this bidding, I can earn more money for Kim Taehyung. By then, he will definitely praise me right. At this moment, a call made Sang Yi happy. Kim Taehyung. The voice on the other end of the phone was serious. Now, there is something important I have to tell you. Upon hearing the girl say that, Sang Yi quickly left. Go to the bidding meeting. The girl spoke into the walkie-talkie. Announce Sang Yi's whereabouts. Li Sang Yi is on his way there. On the other side, a girl was typing on the keyboard, then turned back to inform the man behind her, with a face that couldn't be more seductive. On, the plan has been executed perfectly. Li Sang Yi was instigated by the secretary to buy land with the highest budget, make sure her company goes bankrupt. The leader of the twin association also sent a message, saying, Kim Taehyung has been arrested. Mr. On listened excitedly and immediately showed a satisfied expression, saying, Excellent, prepare the car. I want to go to the scene to witness with my own eyes the desperate face of Lee Sang Yi when he finds out he's been tricked. Mr. On became even more pleased, saying, As for Kim Taehyung, I have ordered my men to interrogate and blind him first. After bringing Lee Sang Yi back, I will slowly torture him in front of her. I am very curious to play with Lee Sang Yu in that state. How it will be. Sometime later, he wore an elegant and classy suit, accompanied by his secretary, stepping out of a luxurious restaurant when Yang Yun's people approached him, saying, Mr. An, I have long admired your name. Are you also here to bid for the project? Mr. An greeted one of them happily, saying, Are you the captain? Ha ha, it's memorable to meet again for the first time. The man quickly said to him, Just look at Mr. On. It's unbelievable how successful he is. 
surely eyeing some good business opportunity. Behind him, another man exclaimed, that's ON's ON Group Industries, including entertainment, hotels, real estate, and other business activities. With assets worth over 10 billion yuan, his vision is truly remarkable. At that moment, Mr. ON noticed another man, so he asked, So are you here today to scout for some prime land? This question made the man uncomfortable, and he immediately denied, No, these lands are in prime locations and very expensive. The man next to him then stepped in to explain, that's right, we are just. Hearing this, Mr. On looked at them with disdain and said, Oh, I see. The group of people then paid no attention to him and turned to the bustling area ahead, eagerly discussing. It's really lively over there, over here. Sang Yai is being surrounded by people for an interview because of her beauty. Everyone is exclaiming, Sang Yai is so beautiful. What is the theme of your next play, Sang Yi? Look over here, Li Sang Yi. Can you tell me if you plan to auction something tonight? Sang Yai responds to the reporter cheerfully, I plan to buy a piece of land and use it as a filming and broadcasting base. However, the specific land cannot be disclosed at the moment. Mr. On, seeing Sang Yi, expresses his interest. It's been a while since we last met. You are becoming more and more attractive. Li Sang Yi, I look forward to your taste. At this moment, the secretary informs him, Mr. On, the meeting room is ready. Upon hearing this, he quickly leaves, saying, Let's go. Meanwhile, the other three people enter the adjacent room. Mr. On, in the room next door, pays attention to them and eavesdrops on their conversation from outside. He thought to himself, These people are the wealthiest in Njang. They surely won't personally appear for such a piece of land like this. It seems like an office has been organized for some purpose. In the midst of the conversation, the voices of the three people rang out. I am truly envious of Li Sang Yi. She secretly obtained a piece of land, so good in Njiang district. Yes, it is a key project that needs to be developed in the national planning. The N931 land lot that I got. He was very surprised to hear this information. The N931 land lot in Njiang district is a key national development project. This is not fake news. I am bribed the district director Xi to quietly release it. Recalling earlier, Secretary Ling had mentioned this piece of land to Sang Yi. Miss Sang Yi, I have heard from many sources that Njiang District will be a key development area of the nation in the next two years. By then, the housing prices in the surrounding areas will increase multiple times. The N931 land is currently very cheap, with 10,000 acres of land selling for only 20 million yuan. Even if bought at the highest price, you can still make a profit this is information about that piece of land. Sang Yi appeared innocent. But I make movies, I don't know much about investment, and if the investment fails. Secretary Ling continued to say to Sang Yi, This is the plan report, by when district director personally declared. There should be no problem. If we can buy plot N931, we can directly triple the value in five years. We will also build a film and television base on it. In short, this is a business activity that will definitely be profitable. Sang Yi was delighted to hear this. You are right. This report cannot be wrong. So let's follow what you said. We will fight with all our might to acquire the land. Mr. On was worried. How do they and others know about this fake news? And why do they believe it? What does that unofficial decision mean? All three of them were discussing excitedly about that piece of land. Someone gave such a good piece of land as a gift to Lee Sang Yi. That person must have a purpose. Oh, if she gets it, it would be such a waste. I don't know how much money I can make. Don't dream anymore. That person said so. Who dares to snatch it? The only one who can compete. That person's financial source is Mr. On. At this moment, he seemed to be manipulated psychologically. Something is not right. Something is not right. He quickly picked up the phone, called the director and said, And Jiang District. The director of that piece of land spoke up. Mr. On. What wind brings you here? Mr. On asked the director. Mr. Bao, is there any new information about plot N931? Mr. Bao immediately replied. There is no news. When will you come to see me? Suddenly he became angry. Don't call me with that smile. What is happening? Do you still want to be the director? On this side, Mr. Bao seemed to have been defeated by someone. But his voice still rang out. Hey, Mr. On, calm down. Let me speak. Can I speak? Can I do it? Not a piece of land. 
but previously we spread false information that it was planned as a landfill. But last night, the documents were downloaded. Guess what? It has been planned as a key development area. The economic value will directly increase by 50 to 100 times. I also did not expect that. No, I was just about to tell you. Oh, that is plot number and 931. Mr. On was very angry after hearing this. He cursed on the phone. Why didn't you tell me if I didn't call? What do you mean? Are you also afraid of Lee Sang Yi behind the scenes? On this side, Mr. Bao tried to explain. Mr. On, please listen to me explain. On the other side, Mr. On didn't listen, but kept scolding Mr. Bao. If this land is occupied by someone else, I will kill you. Mr. Bao lay on the ground with a bruised face from being beaten by someone. Mr. Bao said, It's okay. After the conversation ended, Du Min Jun looked down with excited eyes, praising. Not bad, full of emotions and good acting skills. Mr. Bao, trembling, asked, Can I leave now? Du Min Jun didn't care and left, not forgetting to leave a few words of farewell. Good night, Director Bao. Your bribe evidence is placed in an easily accessible place. Just call the police and withdraw. Du Min Jun's younger brothers still tried to beat him up, while on the other side, the piece of land causing a stir was being auctioned off. The next piece of land, auctioned off, is Lot N-931 located at the foot of Anjiang District Mountain. Although in a mediocre location, its future development potential is very high. The MC announced, the starting price is 20 million yuan, with a minimum bid increase of 5 million yuan. Immediately, everyone started bidding. 20 million yuan, 25 million yuan, 30 million yuan. Suddenly, Sang Yi appeared with a high bid, 50 million yuan. The other man looked at Sang Yi uncomfortably, 55 million yuan. Secretary Ling whispered to Sang Yi. Sang Yi, it seems like that person also knows the value of this piece of land. You won't give up easily. Sang Yi pretended to be manipulated. Then I will directly report the budget of. Those present, upon hearing Sang Yi's offer, could not believe it. 200 million yuan. The man was also very surprised. She must be crazy. Everyone there was talking excitedly, saying, is she crazy? That piece of land is worth 200 million yuan. The geographical environment is poor. The transportation is not convenient. Besides planting fruit trees, what else can be done? With our climate and environment in Anjiang, we can only grow sugarcane. Right, she is Li Sang Yu. If she comes here to grow sugarcane, without filming, it would be better. Ignoring the comments, she didn't care, just sticking to her thoughts. The secretary beside her urged comfortingly, it's okay, Sang Yi. They don't know the value, the potential of this land. If not, we wouldn't be able to get 800 million yuan or 900 million yuan. Sang Yi just listened and nodded. On this side, the contractor hit the hammer once. 200 million yuan for the first time, 200 million yuan for the second time. The secretary was very happy with her plan. It's about to succeed. It has succeeded. The task that Mr. On assigned to me has been completed. While she was happy, Mr. On raised his hand to auction, 300 million yuan. The price was increasing, surprising everyone. The secretary at this point became confused, not understanding what was happening. The secretary now was like a clown, confused and not understanding what was happening. Mr. On, what is happening? He replied seriously, I want to buy this piece of land. The secretary was surprised. Really? At this moment, Sang Yi stood up and shouted loudly. It's Mr. On again. He's here to ruin my money-making plan. Why not? We cannot admit defeat. The secretary was confused. What? Wait. At this point, both of them were fighting. 800 million yuan. Sang Yi is not inferior. 1 billion yuan. Huayna took all our money. Mr. On whispered to his secretary. Huayna, stop her auction immediately. 1 billion yuan. Huayna, you deceived us. You didn't say Li Sang Yi. Now there's only 200 million yuan left. The secretary stood with a pale face. No, ma'am. Where did you get 1 billion yuan from, Mr. On? Please listen to my explanation. She really doesn't have that much money. I really didn't deceive you. At this point, the secretary became dizzy and fainted. The three people behind Yang Yu's group kept saying, Mr. On sometimes makes mistakes. He spends a lot of money to buy a piece of wasteland. What is Mr. On doing? That land is really rubbish. Mr. On turned around, laughing confidently. Do you think I don't know anything? 
The two people were confused. What are you talking about? Yes, I don't understand. Mr. On turned back to look at Sang Yi. All right, you guys continue to act like clowns. Lee Sang Yi immediately gives up the auction, or else she will never meet the person she wants to meet again. Sang Yi furrowed her brows and yelled loudly. What are you talking about? What have you done to him? Mr. On looked down at Sang Yi, thick smiling. What do you think? At this moment, Sang Yi held onto her body. Let him go. You can do anything you want to me, but you can't touch him. Sang Yi then shouted in his face. If you don't want this land, if you let him go, I will stop the auction. Mr. On was amused. How dare you threaten me? Aren't you afraid I will kill him? Sang Yi didn't back down. She slapped him hard in the face, causing him to cry out in pain. What? What are you doing? The onlookers were all stunned. Suddenly, Mr. On became shocked. Sang Yi spoke confidently. Mr. On, I know your true nature. Even if I stop the auction, you will still harm him. I don't care anymore. If he dies, I will take you down with me. After saying that, Sang Yi immediately raised the price. 1.5 billion yuan. Mr. On became angry. You brat, how dare you? The others were even more shocked to hear the price. What? Sang Yi confronted him, challenging him. At least I can take what you want, right? Let him go, or I will continue to raise the price. The secretary standing in between couldn't help but feel anxious. But Sang Yi, we don't have that much money in our account. Upon hearing this, Sang Yi quickly turned and said, Sell all the film copyrights, sell the company, sell the house and jewelry. I will save Kim Taehyung. No matter what I will pay. Mr. On couldn't hold back anymore. You are something. At this moment, Yang Yu shouted, No money. We can lend it to you. Everyone now stood by Sang Yi's side. I will lend you 500 million yuan. I will lend you 300 million yuan. I can't resist. Who told me I owe that person a favor? Mr. On saw everyone standing towards Sang Yi, his face turning pale. At this moment, the auctioneer above shouted loudly, 1.5 billion yuan once, 1.5 billion yuan twice. Anyone want to raise the bid? Sang Yi turned to look at him challengingly, and someone shouted a number. 2.9 billion yuan. The price of this piece of land kept increasing, making Mr. On sweat profusely. Everyone there was shocked. 2.9 billion yuan. What kind of paradise is this? I must be dreaming. This can't be real. Someone come and slap me. Who is this person they are talking about? Li Sang Yai is bidding 2.9 billion yuan just to pressure Mr. On. At this moment, he remembered the words of the other person and smiled. All right, do you think 2.9 billion yuan is a lot? Do you think I dare not add another 2.9 billion yuan? You have more money than me, but even if combined, you still can't match my 4 billion yuan. The secretary followed him, advising Mr. On, this is truly a huge risk, almost the money of the entire corporation. If anything goes wrong, our company will. At that moment, he slapped his secretary in the face, saying, when it's your turn to ask me, you also want to stand on Lee Sang Yi's side, right? The secretary sat on the ground, immediately mobilizing the capital. I'm sorry, I will mobilize all the money right now. He angrily shouted, hurry up. The auctioneer shouted, four billion once, four billion twice, anyone else bidding? Sang Yi then showed a disappointed attitude. Four billion agreed. Hearing this, he laughed out loud. Ha ha, 